Well, here we are. It's Tuesday. Uh, it's Tuesday afternoon, early afternoon. And I've been working all morning. Same thing. Paperwork, 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 paperwork. Not very exciting. I get it. But it's got to be done. And I've got to get it done in the next week. So it's kind of a nonstop thing. I'm hoping I'll be able to get out uh, at some point this afternoon. But I've got to get all these things done because who else is going to do it? That's how it goes. Oh, last night we had another thunderstorm. It was nothing like the night before, but the power went out, stayed out for a little while, came back, went to bed, went off during the night at one point, came back. So, I don't know. These thunderstorms are a real pain in the neck down here. And I don't understand. I understand this is the only place on the planet that we get thunderstorms. So that's why the power has problems and goes down. Hmm. The doggy having a uh, swim. Well, I looked at the uh, tide chart and it's not exactly right, but uh, it's sort of lowish tide. So I'm going to try to go for a beach walk. At least that's the plan because I still have hours of paperwork this afternoon and evening, assuming the power doesn't go off. So that's where I'm headed next. Yep, it's hot. That's the shell. There's a bunch of them around here. Uh, the cacadias. We're making all that noise. Ah, okay. That was a good beach walk. Uh, probably a couple hours worth of walking in soft, mushy sand. So, it's kind of what I needed. I needed something a little bit uh, more strenuous, but it's hot, let me tell you. I just got back from uh, talking with a friend and uh, uh, this person works in retail, so they see what's going on around here and one of the things they see is that here it is August and there's tourists coming in left and right she has a friend who works at the airline um, those people the planes are booked it's tourists a lot of tourists still coming um, and then we turn to how things are working here and she says things are not working here it's getting too expensive and it's going to create problems for people in the long run. And I totally agree that if we can't add 
some type of real value to it, the costs have got to come down. Otherwise, people are going to figure out, hey, we can go someplace else. Yes, maybe they don't have the same beaches or atmosphere, and there will be a certain amount, but we need to sustain a whole economy. You need a whole lot of people to come. Um, and we need, number one, business, tourism. Number two, construction. So those two go hand in hand. And without the tourism to start it, you're not going to get, that's just the reality, you're not going to get people building second homes. She was also saying that she's been hearing from a lot of the uh, second homeowners that some of them are in the decision process of deciding whether they're going to leave um, or what they're going to do because of the costs here with foods expensive everything's expensive so what are they going to do they have they have choices uh, whereas unfortunately local bahamians don't really have choices they're here they can't just pack up and go someplace else easily anyway so i don't know you know maybe this new government will do something as far as getting those changes done i have no idea i have no say in it but if the costs don't start coming down um, more realistically in some regards, it's going to hurt tourism. Airfares are expensive. Everything's expensive. It can't just keep going on that route. Otherwise, it's going to really hamper the tourism market, which in effect is really going to hamper the construction market, which in effect is going to hamper the whole economy of the island. Something's got to change. She hasn't been on camera lately, so she saw me take the camera out and wanted to give me her smiley face. Huh? Miss? She's done, you know. She has to stay coy. I looked at a map from, um, well, you'll see the picture that I just put up. And that map is like, oh, please no. Hopefully that bypasses us. We don't need this every night power off thunderstorm thing. Well, after that beach walk, I've been very productive. I got the uh, first draft done of the monthly report that I put out for the uh, Eleuther Bahamas sponsors. So I've just got to recheck that after, and that's all good. And, you know, I know probably nobody reads it um, even though it's in their best interest and I don't understand why but I do it and I try to show them the growth month to month and the different platforms like uh, Instagram and the website and Facebook and everything else um, maybe they read it a couple have told me they don't <laughs> so what can you do but I'm doing my part doing what I need to do and putting it out there so they can see it if they so desire. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I got to the end before and I got a phone call. I had to go home and make some copies for some papers and stuff for somebody they stopped over picked them up so now I'm gonna go hopefully get sunset <laughs>